So in this video, we're going to add some life to the toms using a gated reverb. Let's have a listen how they are at the moment. They're sounding a little bit lifeless and dull, so I'm gonna add some space around them, but I'm gonna add some space that's not gonna flood everything. The noise gate is gonna keep the rhythm nice and tight. So let's have a listen. Let's use a send. So I'm gonna use aux 5, which is free, and I'm gonna drop down a reverb. So platinum verb is good. Going to make quite a long reverb time. Once again, open up the highs. Let's feed into that. So about minus five. So it sounds messy because there's such a long reverb time on here. It's going to drag the whole energy down because reverb does tend to do that. It pushes things back in the mix. We want to have the reverb, but make it a lot more punchy. So if we drop down underneath dynamics, noise gate and let's see what we can do let's take the threshold up can you hear there just a little bit higher right there we go now it sounds very dull at the moment because we haven't got much length on the actual reverb so if we take the release out Can you hear that? This is fading the reverb down. So some of you might instantly be thinking, yeah, that'd be nice to automate. And you can, of course. Let's take it really, really short and snappy. Now I'm gonna bring in the hold. Hold keeps the signal open for the time that we got specified. So you can have a relatively long hold and a fast release to get a really interesting choppy extra texture. And let's fine tune that in the mix. Let's take the solo off. So that's working really nicely there. I think that really complements the sound. This is what it sounded like before. We can gradually bring this up until we get a nice level. Somewhere about there, I think. So you can see there that gating the reverb allows it to be really nice and tight and snappy and rhythmic when you've got it over some drum sounds.